last time on Total Drama Action! The world's toughest chef used spoons to bring out DJ's killer instinct. This is not about right or wrong, son. It's about you and me winning that cool meal. It was no thanks to DJ that Duncan and Heather had the bejeebies scared out of them. Victory seemed within reach as DJ won the scream off. Lindsay surprised everyone by taking charge earning the respect of her teammates. Beth is going to be our serial killer, and that is that! Just as the killer grips were about to cut someone loose, DJ's conscience, a.k.a. Mama DJ, got the best of him. DJ called himself out as a cheater, hopped into the limousine, and rode off into the sunset. How will the contestants survive without DJ's gourmet cooking? Was it coriander or tarragon he used in that casserole? Discover all that and more in another thrilling and filling episode of Total Drama Action! Your mom and dad, I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. Miss DJ's cooking. It was as awesome as this is completely grossitating. I wish my boyfriend was here. He's such a great cook. Boyfriend? I don't remember any talk of a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. I have a boyfriend. I love my boyfriend. What? Didn't I mention my boyfriend before? You sure do like that word, boyfriend. When did you two meet? We met between TV seasons. Wasn't that only, like, two days? Mm-hmm. We met at the orthodontist. He was getting his braces off at the same time as me. At first, I wasn't into him. But after the braces came off, look out! Such a cutie. <laughs> okay, I bought a lot of junk off late night infomercials, but I ain't buying that! So, you have a boyfriend, huh? Prove it. Sure, I can tell you everything about him. He's six feet tall, has light brown hair, blue eyes, size 10 shoe, 32 pant with a 34 inch inseam. Wait a second. Those stats are all written on the back of his picture. I know a comp card when I see one because I'm a professional male model. Yeah, well, maybe he's a model too. Ever thought of that? No, no one ever thought of that. You've been chasing after a boyfriend all this time? With a honey back home? Sure, my boyfriend's a model, but he's still just a guy. Justin is a supermodel. I can't help myself. Now that my braces are off, it's a whole new dating world. Bendy straws. These are just like the ones they had at the hospital where I had my kidneys switched. Huh? I was born with a rare kidney condition. My left kidney was where the right one should be. You had a surgical kidney swap? That's right. I'm a rare case. <laughs> You're a rare case, all right. Whatever. I'm loading up. I think Owen's taste buds packed up and moved to France years ago. I wish I had this disgusting slop around last time I was trying to stick to my diet. Hey, um, this haute cuisine is obviously too complex for our unsophisticated taste buds, right? I give it five stars. I hate suck-ups. 
Not to worry, folks. You won't be holding on to your lunch for much longer. <laughs> and exactly what torture have you concocted for us today? Oh, nothing. Just that your day will be a total disaster. Get it? It's a disaster movie theme. You know? Like in disaster flicks, people running for their lives from volcanoes, earthquakes, asteroids, tidal waves. The more disastrous, the better. My hair is already a total disaster. It's been three weeks since I had a trim. Split ends city. How much worse could it get? Your first challenge is the earthquake of inevitable pain. Each team has to run the course, challenging your dexterity, maneuverability, and other Mad Monkey skills. First team to the top wins. Best out of two earns today's reward. Oh, my boyfriend had a summer job cleaning up after earthquakes and landslides. <laughs> nope, still not buying it. But I did cave and buy the electronic salad spinner. <laughs> Enough with the chitty chat. Take your marks. This'll be a cinch. I can't wait to swing on the monkey bars. And action! How easy is this? Are you ready to rock? <laughs> if you break it, you buy it. Time to get rid of some old junk. <laughs> Ow, my right kidney. <laughs> ah, my precious cheekbones. <sighs> oh, finally, a break. After shock. <laughs> My delicious lunch lost forever. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. It's lava time. Tomato soup. That was supposed to be for supper. Is it getting hot in here? How about a cool, refreshing hailstorm? <laughs> golf ball-sized hail is bad, but hail-sized golf balls are even worse. <laughs> I got one. Don't get cocky, kid. Oh, 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 oh. No, not the face. I give up. There's no way I'll get that skincare line endorsement now. Oh, not so silky smooth. After aftershock. Ah! 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 Uh, I can't breathe. I'm still carrying a little holiday weight. My boyfriend was part of a rescue team that saved people stuck in avalanches. He used to say... Beth, we need actual advice from real, live, living people! Oh. Hurry! They're getting a lead! Ah! Everyone! Get behind me! Ow. Shouldn't someone be yelling, four? Ow. <laughs> hey, it stopped! Jeff, do something! <laughs> ah, hang on, team! We're almost there! Please, after you! Oh, come on. You're the one who sacrificed himself for us. I insist. Ladies first! Ah, my unpublished manifesto. I've lived a lot of years. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Daddy. That'll hurt come morning. Oh, no! Owen! Are you okay? <laughs> My editor was right. My life really is dangerous. <laughs> Did Owen actually break his jaw? That's so tragic. Owen lives to eat. Owen is my buddy. He's the only one who truly gets me. If something happens to Owen, I'll be stuck with my imaginary friends. And let's face it, I should have ditched them years ago. Yeah, Phil, I'm talking to you. Ah! Um, Chris, why doesn't the crew go over and help him? Yeah, yeah, as soon as we're done getting every shot, the good news is it looks like Owen won the challenge for the killer grip. Oh, no, he did it! Yeah, we got our whole team across the finish line. Serious injury trumps all. You just make up the rules as you go along, don't you? I love my job. The wounded Owen. What will become of him? Stay tuned to find out. Doing. Oh, Owen's fine. A little broken jaw, but it's all wired shut now. Shouldn't take more than four to six weeks to heal. Oh, no. It's that bad? I mean, he's doing fine. That's what release forms are for. Correct, Amundo? All right. Now it's time for the second disaster theme challenge. Who's excited? Because of Owen's win, the Grips have the advantage of getting this handy-dandy piece of paper for the second disaster challenge. What good is this? It just has some dumb numbers on it. Oh, I think it's a lock combination. Okay, time to get inside. You crazy? I'm not getting in that tin can. Not even for a million bucks? Better be carpeted in there. I don't like this. Not one little bit. What's going on? Who cares? I could stay like this all day. For this challenge, you've got to get out before it's too late. Too late? Too late for what? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> Pick up two. You mind cranking that lever? What is that? I really wish my boyfriend was here. He's a registered lifeguard. Uh-huh. Yeah. It would be great if he were here. You're right. You know what would be better? What? If he existed in the first place! Now let's get out of this death trap! This water is freezing, and it's too dark to see anything. No problem. I've got great night vision. A lot of the stuff I get up to happens when the sun goes down. This should help. Get to work, everybody. Wow, <laughs> what a head rush. Yay for Izzy's hard head. Hey, look, I think it's a way out. Or maybe that's the exit. This one's closest, so let's try it first. Anybody know how to pick a lock? Actually, I learned how to open a combo lock at Picky Steve's lock picking camp. <laughs> you do have mad skills. Yeah, well. Whoa! Ah! <clears throat> the water is rising, so get to it, Harold Dini. Oh no! It's a combination lock! Sound familiar? going to open it. Guys, we better get to it quick before the water gets too high. I'll do it. No, I'm going to do it. Just give it well, to me. I'm Lindsay, just, Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. Come on. So, come on. What are the numbers? Read them out. Ah, I'm surrounded by loons. Where? I can't do it. I need more time. If only I had gills. How cool would that be if I had gills? I really should have been born with gills. Life can be so unfair. 
Maybe we can boost each other up. Girls, we'll just float up to the top with the water and open the hatch. Funny, you don't look like a thinker. So, um, anybody got any ideas? My boyfriend used to do underwater photo shoots and taught me how to hold my breath for a really long time. My agent totally wants me to learn that. <gasps> Brady could teach you. <laughs> then I'd have you both to myself. Guys, there's something here! It might be a way out! Paul, come on! No good. Any other ideas? I got it! Ah! Nope. No good. Any other ideas? Ah. Fire, huh? Don't you think that's a bit much? Seriously! I'm just not in the mood! Busting my hump for a bunch of snot nose. Don't I deserve a little me time? Really, it might be time to end the challenge. The water's getting pretty high, and uh, those kids are terrible swimmers. Focus! I want my chips back. I'm starving. This is getting serious. T turn off the water! <sighs> We've got to get the cast out of there. Simple formula. No more contestants equals no more episodes equals no paycheck. And the end of my luxurious lifestyle. Texas Hold'em? You're not hearing me! What? Gin rummy? This this could be it! The end! Like the end end! And I wanna live! I know you're scared, but you don't have to cry. I'll save you. Who said anything about crying? Lashana never cries! You sure blubbered enough when a reward was on the line. For your reward. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> fighting for your lives. <laughs> it's been so stressful. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose you. All in favor? Aye. You're a total sham. You mean Lashana fake cried to get the reward with Lashaniqua? Hey, wait a second. Let's not forget who's always there listening to everyone's problems. You're gonna pay for this, big, loud, and proud! Wait, I just remembered something. Quick, help me make a snorkel. Brilliant! Harold's gonna save the day. Once the hatch is open, it'll drain the water out of both the rooms. And I'll still have a paycheck. day, huh? Looks like another reward win for the gaffers. Seems like the grips are a tad overdue, but <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> and now let's see what the gaffers have won. Oh, an all-expenses-paid trip to beautiful British Columbia. That's right, you'll be staying at the luxurious inn on the volcano. A charming lodge teetering on the edge of a little-known active volcano on Vancouver Island. To get you there, you'll be enjoying an exhilarating eight-day hike up the craggy treacherous. No thank you. 
I couldn't believe we were actually gonna drown. Did the producers lose their minds? But it would have been a pretty cool way to go on national TV and all. I had it all under control. I work best under pressure. Ha! <laughs> pressure! Get it? <laughs> Water pressure? <laughs> I'm hilarious, even when my life is in danger. We'll just take some chips and pop, if that's okay. Suit yourselves. More money for my end of the year bonus. That's what they call a prize? Right. All we need after today is a disaster-themed vacay. Okay, here's the deal. You can go and eat with the gaffers if you promise not to sue. Promise! Promise, promise? Not like fake promise. Your fingers aren't crossed, are they? Enjoy! Well, that magical bit of legal maneuvering brings us to the end of another awesome episode. What disaster lies in store for our teams next time? I'm your host, Chris McLean, asking you to tune in, turn on, and find out right here on Total Drama Action! Hey! You dropped your chips in my pop! Hey! You spilled your pop in my chips! <laughs> It's probably the pain meds. <laughs>